Hi guys, in today's video I wanted to share with you a pillow spray that I have been testing out and I wanted to share with you my experience using it and just talk about pillow sprays in general and something I was thinking about the reason why I think they work and it's not really as much of like the kind of smell that it is but it's something else so I don't know I feel like the world nowadays is quite busy and there's a lot going on and when it comes to falling asleep I at least sometimes have trouble just like relaxing and calming down and so I figured I would try this was a couple of months ago something that I was I was wanting to try always I've heard people talk about this pillow spray thing and I wanted to give it a try and see what that's all about so I went on the Amazon and I saw this really really super popular one and I thought you know if I'm gonna try a pillow spray it better be that one at least to start with so I'm talking about the Deep Sleep Pillow Spray by This Works, <laughs> very great name. Deep Sleep Pillow Spray by This Works is one of the top sellers on Amazon, at least it was when I was looking at pillow sprays. And I have to say, I kind of get why, because this does have a very, very pleasant smell. It's not overpowering. If you are someone who doesn't like strong smells, I don't think that this is not gonna be let me <laughs> I don't not I don't think that this is gonna be overpowering I don't like super strong smells although I did work in a perfume store in college so smells don't bother me as much as maybe sounds do but um, it's still not a like a very strong smell it is one that just feels just right when you apply it on the pillow it's just like the right amount it lasts for fairly you know for like almost the whole night I would assume and it definitely is there like it lingers like around you but if you don't want it to fill up the whole room, it won't, at least in my experience. And I have a pretty, pretty small bedroom. So it's not the kind of smell that's just like all over the place and people are just going to get fed up with it. It's kind of very localized to your pillow. I also try applying this spray right next to my pillow because I was like, maybe I can just apply it like right next to it, not always on the pillow. I changed my pillowcase every day every morning because i have acne prone skin so i thought maybe if i apply it like right next to it then the smell would kind of like linger for a little bit longer it actually doesn't or at least in my experience didn't carry all the way over to me so it's something that i would recommend uh spraying right on the pillow i probably should have <laughs> i probably should have figured that since it's a pillow spray but i thought i could kind of try something else and it failed but anyway not a big deal so as far as the ingredients it's a 99 percent 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 natural ingredient okay so i just took some notes and the notes are mm. <laughs> okay so it's a 99 percent natural sleep aid and it has lavender chamomile which i love i actually drink a lavender chamomile tea before bed so i do feel like it's definitely a soothing scent it also has, and I don't, I never know how to pronounce this. One day I will go online and just do like a Google voice, text to voice thing. And I think it's called Vetivert. <laughs> I will link it down below uh, so you can see what's in, in the scent profile. But it's just a really, really gorgeous, soothing, calming scent. It's not pungent. I know there's some scents that are pungent, especially when it comes to lavender, like essential oil type, type smells which are really beautiful, but when you're sleeping, you don't want that. And this, I feel like, is a very rounded, kind of a soothing scent. So the scent itself is great. The lasting is, is great. Something to keep in mind about the spray is that it says so on the back anyway that this may cause an allergic skin reaction. And I have to be honest, when I first tested this out, I was super scared because I just, I wasn't sure how my skin would take to it. And that's definitely something to keep in mind, especially if you have sensitive skin. But what I will say is, from my personal experience, I haven't had any issues, but I'm very, very careful. And what I tend to do, even now, is I tend to put this on the side of my pillow where I'm not really going to be laying. Like, I, I sleep on my side, and so I put this spray like right next to me and so I can smell it but I'm not necessarily laying on it although obviously as I'm rolling around I'm sure my skin came to contact with it and I haven't had any issues I also what I did and I would recommend you do that as well with any pillow spray and including this one is just add a little bit of this spray on your skin and see how your skin reacts that's a good way of testing something like this out so you're not 
spraying this on your pillow and then going to bed and then you're not really like fully aware what's going on you can at least kind of like patch test it that's what i did maybe it's kind of too much but i would recommend doing it anyway just to be on the safe side and i like to be on the safe side <laughs> Um, but anyway, so let's talk about the experience of this spray, at least from my point of view. Obviously, I can't guarantee that this is going to work for you. I feel like I say that in every video and maybe it's self-explanatory, but I just really, my intention is to share my life and products that work for me. And um, I, I want to share like the best things with you guys because I want you guys to have the best things and just to enjoy life more and experience um, just the better products and avoid the process of t trial and error and failing and spending money and trying products that just like didn't really work but obviously I can't guarantee this is gonna work for you so as far as how this product worked for me and obviously I'm just sharing my personal experience but I would say that this was a very very calming and soothing smell so I do love the smell I do feel like it does calm me down the same way my chamomile lavender tea also kind of helps me uh, calm down my sleepy time tea and i do feel like it's definitely a soothing smell so that's point number one the second point and i was thinking about this is that you know how they say you're not supposed to use your bedroom for anything but sleep because you want your kind of brain to associate that room with sleep so that you fall asleep faster and stay asleep and that's just kind of like the routine I feel like it's kind of the same here. So this is the kind of smell that you could use to sort of signal to your brain and your body that it's time for bed. And I would say if you're if you really want to get that habit going, what I would do is if you really are falling asleep, spray it then at least for a couple of times because I think what's going to start to happen and this is sort of a theory of mine so I'm not 100% sure it's going to work but i feel like it's a pretty good theory from all of the research i've done because i'm i'm like really into sleep and sleep science if you can pair something as you're falling asleep um with that kind of feeling i think your body and your brain again is going to associate the two things and the next time you smell it your brain is going to start to be like okay it's time for bed we gotta sort of put our body into that state of falling asleep it's going to start to prepare your body for bed if you're struggling with sleep though and you spray this uh, i think the scent might be calming and maybe it's going to work for you but i also am thinking that what could happen is your body will associate the smell with not being able to fall asleep so it's kind of something to keep in mind and maybe try but i would definitely say the smell is calming the smell itself might kind of put you in a relaxing state even smelling a pleasant smell itself for me personally kind of relaxes me i don't know if it's everyone but that's that's me and if that's you then that's definitely something Thing that could be beneficial but I would also just keep in mind that I would only associate or try to associate the smell with the times when you're tired and you're falling asleep easily so that once that habit is ingrained I think that smell could be very beneficial to use to kind of aid in falling asleep faster because your brain's gonna be like okay this smell means we're going to bed let's make it happen <laughs> kind of a thing so that's a theory I don't know 100% sure if that's how it's gonna work for you but I feel like I feel like that's a pretty that's a pretty good theory that I'm working with here so ultimately I would say it's definitely something to try as long as you don't have any kind of a sensitivity or reaction to the smell it's a very kind of a quick easy low maintenance low effort thing to try and you may love it and you may think that this is going to work uh, you know or it's going to actually work great for you for my experience again i think it's helpful i don't know if it's like the magic that is just overrides everything if i'm really stressed out or if the room is not like it's too hot this is not gonna just cancel everything out and make me fall asleep but i do feel like it does help me and again i use this sort of as like that habit pairing trigger type <laughs> tool of sorts where i like the smell but it's also like a routine you know what i mean like it's kind of a routine for me where i try to be like okay this room is only for sleep and this scent is only when i sleep and no other time and so like this this is this is what's happening brain please this is sleep time <laughs> we're on sleep time now sleep mode here's the thing i don't think this is going to be the most important thing you do to help you sleep like it's it's not obviously there's more important things uh like room setup like having a consistent schedule like making sure your circadian rhythm is in check and then balance and and all of that and you know stress level is at a good 
level and food and there's so much that you can do uh, to help improve your sleep and kind of your circadian rhythm but every little bit helps and because this is so easy to use and at least try then i would say why not try it because maybe it's just going to help you that little bit and every little bit that helps will help you get a little bit better and a little bit better and a little bit better and we're talking about incremental improvements here and before you know it you just really have a much better sleep routine so i would say definitely worth a try it's not a magic thing but it's definitely um definitely worth a try so anyway on that note i'm gonna end this video i hope you guys have enjoyed this one if you've tried this spray or if you have tried a different pillow spray if you want to share your experience then definitely leave that in the comment section below because uh, we can all learn from each other and i always love reading comments so anyway on that note uh, i'm gonna end this one i hope you guys are having a wonderful day today i hope you are getting a good night's sleep <laughs> i had to put that in there and i'm sending you all lots of love and i'm giving you all a big 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 hug and i hope to see you guys hope you can join me in the next video bye i had three cups of coffee today <laughs> you can probably tell <laughs> bye